I'm here to listen to whatever you have to say. I'm going to kill you, father. Certainly a startling opening line. It uh, basically it starts with uh, the priest in confession uh, where the guy who says he's going to kill him. And then the story is set out the course of seven days as he, you know, he deals with this. He knows who the person is who's threatened him. But obviously they c he can't reveal anything because it's confessional. So it has that kind of thriller framework. Yeah, and, and, you know, in a Roman Catholic, you can't reveal what somebody said to you. So he knows all this, but he's not sure if the guy's going to go through with it, obviously. And meanwhile, he meet all these various quirky, idiosyncratic characters in the town, basically torment him in other different ways, you know. So it's more of a drama, but there's a lot of the same dark humour that's in the guard. I hope we don't get locked in here. We'll have to make love to keep warm. <laughs> During the shoot of the guard, me and Brennan got drunk and I said, you know, I'd like to do a film about a priest. And he said, I'd like to do a film about a priest. <laughs> so we did a film about a priest. I wrote one about a priest, so we'll see. <laughs> That's where it comes from. <laughs> There's nothing intellectual about it. The commandment, thou shalt not kill, does not have an asterisk referring you to the list of instances where it's OK to kill people. What about self-defence? It's a tricky one, all right. Hitchcock did a film called I Confess, that had a, but that was more of a straight-ahead thriller with Montgomery Clift, where he knows a man has killed somebody, and, but the guy's confessed to him, so he can't reveal it. And then he gets framed for the murder himself. So that, 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 the, the idea has kind of been done in a different form. So that's a good film, actually. I like that Hitchcock movie. I, I'm quite similar to Hitchcock, not in my cinematic style, but we're both fat men from London. So we'll see if that comes through in the movie. Time is gone, you don't even realise it. My time will never be gone. I think there's too much talk about sins, not enough talk about virtues. What would be your number one? I think forgiveness has been highly underrated. Do you not have anything to say to me, Father? Not right now, no. But I'm sure I'll think of something by Sunday week. <laughs> <laughs>